thanks for, for being here with us again. You're part of our staff, so we are really proud to, to announce your, your collaboration and uh, tell us what's new in your business. Well, basically what we keep pushing is to keep, uh, prom promote uh, safety procedures. Our agency it specializes in med medical tourism. We receive patients from all over the world and our, our participation in this whole process is to make sure that the patients have the right information, that they are connected with the right doctors, um, that they can prepare their traveling uh, without a lot of worries and, and concerns. That's why they have a full team here that supports them. Uh, once they, the patients travel, of course, besides being under the care of the specialists and the hospitals, um, the rest of the time there is an entire team that supports them from uh, nurses that visit them every day in their hotel rooms, uh, concierge, patient concierge that align everything for them so there's no hiccups or there is no uh, obstacles during this process while they're here. Uh, these people don't live here, these, our patients don't speak the language, they, some of them they are not really familiar with the culture, but they really want to take advantage of the high medical attentions here. So when you put these two things together, great doctors, great hospitals, and a team that supports the entire process, logistics, translation, transportation, on this level, that's when we have very successful cases and we keep working very hard, no? And the next step is to uh, offer innovative procedures to our patients, um, especially in the aesthetic and cosmetic areas. There are many uh, uh, procedures that are being promoted and being developed here that uh, can offer a lot of solutions no, to a lot of patients. So it's not only the most common and demanded procedures, but something that offers them uniqueness and personalized uh, surgical plans for them to, to complete their goals. So that's what we're here for. Well, Cancun was actually not my first choice. Um, I actually wanted Costa Rica. And when I started talking with Andreas online with my medical vacations, um, the options that were given to me in Cancun were better than the options that were available in Costa Rica. Um, the US options were extremely expensive in comparison and um, the results I was seeing in the United States were not nearly as good as what Dr. Torres was proposing um, here. So the idea of coming down here and having a better experience at a better price tag in a nicer location, especially at this time of year where it's now snowing back home and here I am in lovely Cancun. Can we talk about some of those procedures? Yeah, exactly. One of the uh, most uh, uh, demanded ones is the uh, silhouette design. This is a procedure that is a trademark in Cancun for, uh, of Dr. Arturo Valdez. Uh, he is the only one that is performing this procedure here in Cancun right now. I think has to do a lot with his um, continuous preparation, his keeping updated, traveling the world literally to find the best techniques and to be able to apply them. And this is a, a double benefit because all of our international patients can now and can have this procedure, but at the same time, the local patients that wish to have this, uh, it's also available for us. So that's one of the coolest things about medical tourism in general. What if we go with him and let us uh, explain the, the procedure? He will be uh, uh, much more clear in explaining how this procedure works. Pedro Arturo Valdez, thank you and thank you for this time. And we would love to know a little bit about the, the silhouette design. It's a new, it's a new technical. Thanks, hello, it's a pleasure for me to with you right now. So this is a very new procedure surgery. So when we're talking about the body control surgeries, we're talking about lip suction, we're talking about tummy tuck, but not all the patients are a good candidates for this kind of surgeries because the profile, the anatomical structure, the bone structure is different in every patient. So sometimes when the patient doesn't have the ideal silhouette, I mean, when they don't have the hips, the ribs, and the relationship between them, it's very difficult to create a very small waistline. So with this new technique, we can offer the patients a silhouette design. That means like we can work on the last two ribs in every side. So 
This surgery redesigned this wood because we changed the contour of the, of the ribs and then we can offer to the patient a very nice design, very nice silhouette and very small uh, waistline. This surgery is performed with minimal, minimal invasive surgery, so that means that we're going to create a very small incision around 2 or 3 centimeters and through that we can remove a piece of, of uh, cartilage or a piece of a uh, reef bone or just create a new curvature. So with this technique we can improve the waistline and the body contour of the patients. Of so, course it depends on the, the, the body um, structure, right? Yes, every patient has a very different bone structure. The relationship between shoulders, ribs, hips, it's very important. So most of the patients, they're going to need some um, liposuction on the flanks, liposuction on the hips. Some patients must need like a fat grafting on the bottom. It's a redefinition of the Yes, the most zero. important it is see the patient, make the body contour analysis, take the measurements and then do the surgical plan to take the decision what will be the best option for every patient. So we have a lot of tools to offer to the patients. The age is important in this case? Not really important because the bone structure actually doesn't change with the age. The aging process doesn't affect the, the contour. So we can use this kind of surgeries in very young patients and we can use these surgeries in patients above from 60 years old. So that's great. Why don't we go direct with your patient and then we will see what, what is, is this about? Sure, I can show you how we're going to do the surgical plan with this patient. So when we are talking about the body control, we try to design the silhouette and this area. So first we need to do the marks. One is intergluteal crease, which is right here. And then we need to try to define the upper border of the butt, which is right here. So this is going to help us to redefine the bottom area. And then we need to identify the iliac crest. With the iliac crest, we can define the shape of the hips. So this line represents the level of the iliac crest. And here, we have the trochanter major. So with this line, we must define the waistline. So in her case, we need to identify what is the relationship between the iliac crest and the last ribs. So we're going to try to mark the last two ribs because those ribs are free. For example, here we have the tip of the rib. So her rib will be coming right here. And then with this palpation, we can identify the 11 rib. So this is the 12th, this is the 11th rib. So, if we want to refine the, the waistline, the ideal distance that we need to get between the iliac crest and the last wrist must be around 8 cm. In her case, she has like 4 cm, so she will be an ideal candidate to do the reshaping the waistline. In this case, we need to try to do a very small incision around 3 cm here, so we when I get access direct to the body of the last ribs and then we can do the resection. What happens if we do the resection with this surgery? We want to try to get this contour because we, if we don't have this space here, the muscles want to make a contraction right here and then we're going to increase the relationship between the iliac crest to the last rib around 8 centimeters like this. So with this surgery we can redefine the area and with the suction here we can redefine the upper border of the body and in case necessary, we can use a fat graft into the bottom to get better projection and definition. In terms of the aftercare, I also have a nurse that comes to my room every day to help me with bandages and, and of course that initial shower, which is kind of terrifying because you just, you don't know what, what can be soaked and what can't be soaked and uh, right down to every last detail. They've, they've been here and they've helped me and they've supported me and, and it's been just a really incredible experience for me. Okay, you are a very special MD. We, were, we are following you since uh, a few months ago and we are proud of, the, of your career 
and you're how can I explain? You always are on 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 the cutting edge. On, yes, so it's it's really good. It's a it's a good sensation of proud. Thank, oh, thank you, because the plastic surgery involves many many techniques. We work in all body, so every year there is something new. Always there is something new to learn, something new to try. So the surgical techniques are different every year. So what we are trying is to be the cutting edge of all the procedures that we have. That's why the most important medical association in the world about plastic surgery, they make a lot of trainings for the surgeons. So if we keep in touch with these associations, I'm sure we're gonna offer our patients the safety procedures and with the best results. Thank you very much for this time and we we'll hope to see you later. There's it's a pleasure, thank you. Okay, now um, we were in Spain in an international uh, tourism fair and uh, we saw a special area dedicated to uh, medical tourism. You were in this uh, world, let's talk about, let's say like that, since uh, many years ago. So what's your experience and what do you think about the promotion of this? I think in general medical tourism, it's a growing trend. It's a sector that has a, a consistent growth year after year. And I, get, I believe that bigger organizations are realizing this. That's why now it has more presence in these huge fairs and events, which is great for, the, for our sector. Um, it's important to involve everybody in the chain of value. Because yes, the, the patient would travel to see a doctor in a hospital, but that same patient will have touristic services that would need hotels, flights, transportation, and even uh, uh, sightseeing, and, and all these things that, that can benefit the touristic the industry as well. We do not forget the fact that they are patients before tourists, but we do realize that they have the need of this. So having this exposure of this sector in these big fairs makes people more related to the, to the subject, more familiarized with it, and therefore can think of, of better solutions and better programs for this. So no, this is all what we are uh, for many years hoping that this would happen, and now it is. And it's our job to, to stay on top of, of these trends and, and keep offering our, our patients the best service possible. Okay, the places can come, the agency is... My Medical Vacations. Correct, <laughs> where can we find you? Uh, you can always look us online. Our website is mymedicalvacations.com. Look us on, on, on all the social media as well. And there is a very well-trained team prepared that will happily uh, assist you in this process.